Is this the first song of the match? What was that? Second stage. Okay. Yeah. Hello, I am back. This is the card draw? I'm not sure. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, we're getting right into it. Hello, y'all. You're gonna break the meter. Can't wait to see it. So, we have, we have Heather on P1. Mau Mau coming up from pool five. Mama was the top seed in pool five. Yes. So it's it, it's not a hundred percent unexpected that she moved on. Heather is very strong competition though. Mama looks to be having about a 20 point lead or so. This is on the bounce ESP. Uh, what's going on right now? Still really close. The double PSC currently, knock on wood. <laughs> but it's super close. This is a, definitely going to be an MA battle. Oh, yeah. Um, Check it out. Did we so say that Heather came all the way from Canada for this? Uh, because she we did. Didn't get, damn. She's great. Awesome. She was so excited to come to the world. So excited. The last jumps. And Mao wow. takes it. BFC. Mao with the Very PFC. strong. Good job. 34. 34. Very clean. And a tell it's, really locked in on the sync. This uh, this song has notoriously early sync, so having an even fast slow and 34 perfects is really impressive. Really nice job by both players. So hello y'all. Hello, uh, hello. Uh, this is Italian Falchion reporting in. Uh, you were you were commentating in the previous pool, right? Yes, okay. I'm Julie Q. I was commentating in the previous pool. I had to stop to get a snack <laughs> and a juice. <laughs> so, it's been a crazy so, day for me. I competed in pool four with Dalshin, and they took out to didn't drown. They went to pool five, and we're finally getting to sit and relax. It's been a fun, yeah. It's been a fun day at EDR, uh, but I'm happy to be. Uh, out now and able to commentate on some incredible, see some incredible players. And I'm uh, happy to commentate with you. <laughs> likewise. Uh, oh, so now we're getting into uh, Heather's pick, which is Sakura Sunrise Challenge, PSP. This is a very tricky 16. This is an incredibly tricky 16. I believe this is one of the ones that came out of the Challenge Carnival event from A20, I think it was, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, yes, very tricky. Um, Kind of takes the Sakura Sunrise to its furthest extreme. Uh, lots of uh, little bursts and runs, and uh, the step jumps that feature in the ESP. There's a lot more a lot of those. More of oh man, are there a lot more of those? It's like the ESP existed, and it's like you thought the sun has risen. <laughs> Take a gun. And now the now the sun is crashing into the earth. That's that's the CSP. That, that's. If you look at their PBs. Um, so Heather's actually an A20 plus player. Mm. Uh, so I don't, and um, she's in Canada. So I don't think she actually plays on official EMUs. Okay, so that's uh, probably so probably won't see too many which PBs. Why we don't see too many PBs. That makes sense. But she's very strong in her own right. She she has um, she had like a PFC on her Japan trip on a gold cap. They don't have gold caps in Canada. Wow. All right, getting right into it. I'm not just locking in. Heather also locking in. Still pretty close. This chart is relentless. So really, as the first set of the day for Heather, it's really about uh, being warm and loose. This is a tough one to, to take on so early. I'm out looks to have about a 30, 30 point lead or so. Going to this little break, a little more of a break section. 
Just, little... They're just both streaming marvelous. They just. You can do no wrong. Sweet. All right, build up going into the last section. Yep. Oh, box run. Both players managed to get through relatively unscathed. There's the, where the chart really shows its teeth in this last section. Those, yeah. those like really oh, little mini couple box drops, runs. Couple drops from Mau Mau, but still holding on to the lead. On, it takes it. it. Takes Tw it, but that. 21. That could have been a lot more of a blowout. Yeah, for that many and notes, 21 is very close. Really, really clawed her way back. Yeah, similar, similar money scores, similar perfect counts. It was about Mama was about uh, keeping the great, great count down. So what I find really cool is Heather's note about when we asked her to fill some commentary out. She wrote, "I've always been a fan of women in non-binary DDR tournaments since Valkyrie started." hosting events, and after she tuned into Valkyrie Ascension in 2019, uh, she, she was motivated to get back into DDR. And That's like, awesome. Now, it's like, you know, all these years later, we're now at Zenith, and She's in the second to highest pool. Yeah, and I'm so glad that these kinds it. of See events have inspired her floor. to like really, really push. Yeah, I think it's inspired a lot of uh, a lot of women and nine binary folks to uh, to either get back into the game or push themselves in the game. I know the the earlier pools, there were a lot of really new players who maybe really players. would have been intimidated from going to a a, a, a typical EDR tournament or an all all genders DDR tournament, um, who decided to, to go to this one. Uh, and that's awesome to see, getting that. Uh, and a lot of people, experience. as like one of the EOs, a lot of a lot of the co potential competitors were messaging me like, Dude, should I even bother? Like the lower level pools were like, should I even bother coming? I don't compete and I don't, I'm gonna be scared. What if everyone's better than me? <laughs> and I was like, I, you know, I got so many DMs from newer players that I was like, you know, please come. Yeah. You know, you need to get your feet wet. You know, you want to you wanna meet people that, you know, will be your lifelong friends. It's not just about winning or losing. It's about meeting people that are gonna be there for you and yeah. understand how to stay struggle through the games. Also people who will mentor you, who've been where you've been and you can see where you go and it's incredible, so. Well said. <laughs> yeah. And now we have Sveta and Fabstav. This, uh, this, this should be a really good this match. This is going to be a fantastic matchup. So Sveta yeah. picking first time ESP uh, and Fabstav conquering, uh, countering with in between ESP. Oh, uh, let's look at what they, like, they, neither of them wanted to play Jomanda. Understandable. Understandable. Uh, Tokyo, my, my bay, Tokyo type three, Fabsav <laughs> uh, vetoed. I think that makes sense. Uh, Fabsav is uh, predominantly an ITG player, so probably doesn't have familiar with, familiarity oh. with some of the lower stuff. Veta also banned Electronic Retreat, which is a kind of a not fun chart to it's MA. A nasty swing chart. 15 is like, is a very, very tough one to MA. And just, you know. Yeah, and so, actually Sveta also uh, vetoed 8 million, which uh, is also a swing chart. Yep, yeah. yep. Very smart veto. <laughs> so, if this is good for a first match. Looks Sveta. like they're just doing a warm up on mixed nuts. So, be able to uh, find some find some more stuff about them. Ooh, they're gonna warm up. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, this is their first match, so uh, they haven't had a chance oh, to warm Sveta up yet. Sveta is a member, a founding member of Team Heron mm -hmm. with Ambone, which is one of the, the, they wanted to revive the DDR team scene, which we actually had a lot of in the olden days. Really? Oh, yeah, that's I, kind of like. I know nothing about the competitive scene in the olden days. There was days. just teams in Japan of uh -huh. all sorts of, some of them were freestyle teams and some of them were like tech teams. And there would be like, there was like a whole scene in Northern California and Southern California of huh. like teams in the old, like old, like pre-extreme. Like they were, teams were already pretty dead by like third or fourth mix. Mm. So like, okay. it's really nice seeing teams being revived in like the more modern DDR era. That's super cool. So. Yeah, it's a good way to, for uh, good players to push each other to get better, I think. Yeah, this is a warm up, by the way. 
And it's this is a good. Nuts. This is a good one to warm up on. Mixed nuts. A nice, nice 150s, nice, slightly nice bursty. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. Street. And, um, but I believe, it, like, uh, Ambones is uh, local to the Seattle area. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah Sveta and Amber are local to the Seattle area. And Fab, I think, is around the Great Lakes area. I think that's right. Yeah, I know Midwest. Midwest I, I know, yeah. I know. I remember her saying that she's from the Midwest. I love her. Which, uh, her um, commentary <laughs> card. Is, What's your proudest humble. achievement? DDR. Amazing. What are you most excited for for Zenith? DDR. Anything else, Fab? Fab would love to share. DDR. Well, DDR. That explains it. <laughs> I mean, like when it comes down to it, that's really what it's all about. It's true. We're here for DDR. <laughs> No, she did not mince words. Yeah, uh, and unfortunately, with uh, being in a lot of there's a lot of places in the Midwest that uh, definitely don't have access to round ones, and there are Dave Investors here and there, but uh, it's it's a lot harder to get cab access for DDR. In, in certain yeah, so when we moved it, when we moved this tournament to um, to round one, we kept it as an A20 flex. So yeah. each of the competitors put down what version they play. Right. And so, um, you know, if it's an A20, they can only get picked A20 songs against them because, you know, we have to account for that. We don't want people, like, seeing some Undertale shock charts mm. for the first time in a no. tournament where they're supposed to be showing off oh, their very that would, that would be very mean. That would be very mean, <laughs> yes. Or some of the, like the gimmick charts. Like, imagine playing "Let's Dance Around" for your for the first time. I have uh, to take it. I like literally want to puke every time. That that song. <laughs> I, like, I'm pretty good at Soulflan once I figure it out. But the fact that that the way that chart like goes up and down. Oh, oh it's it's pretty. I literally feel sick. Playing, like I I've only played it. Like, oh three oh times. the little like warp things. Yeah the warps. Like yeah. like there are certain songs that have warps. Like um like Stay Gold has warps. Yeah. Right? That, but there's so many warps in one yeah. round. I can't do it. All right, All right here's into, the match. This is the, the match. Time. This is Smeta's pick. So we'll we'll probably see her be f more familiar with the uh, with the gimmicks here, with the speed changes. Uh, and then there's one warp about halfway through the chart. I love the gimmicks in this chart. Once you learn them, they just you just feel so cool executing them. That's like every gimmick chart, to be honest. It's like, you hate it until you love it. I guess that's Unless fair. it has really jank sync, in, that's... in which case nobody likes them. Oh, it's tight. And it it's is very easy. Oh, and then go. Fab picked up a couple misses there, so yeah. that has a That's kind of ability. one, if you don't know it, you're, you're, you're going to have some misses. They both know, it looks like they both know the chart. Yeah. Which but it's, about, it's kind of about how recently have you played it? <laughs> can you remember all, the, how all these well little? How well can you remember it? Yeah, a little phrase here. I call that the monkey business. The monkey business. That is that, the because that's uh, the same. It goes halftime and then there's a jump. And that one too. All right, we got. Oh, it is still very tight. Sped is holding on a very narrow lead. There's the warp jump, up down jump. Oh, thought it was on top of it. There was a couple of misses there. Yeah, on top of the warp, but it's hard to recover after that warp visually to kind of realign yourself. Oh, it is. It's going to come down to this last last ending stream. Long, long they stream at so, the end. So close. Look at Ted. Oh, looks like Sveta takes it. Sveta Next takes pulls it. it out. <laughs> Great job, Sveta. But, but that, was so, that was so close the whole yeah, way. That was really close. Sveta just managed to hang on uh, with better PA throughout that ending stream. Wow. That is such an interesting breakdown. That Step is breakdown. a fascinating breakdown. That's a fascinating breakdown. <laughs> 50 perfects, 26 greats. Yeah, that's. I guess that's a first time <laughs> best score. Makes sense. Very interesting. That was a very interesting one. That, that was, was really cool. good. Yeah. But uh, making, a, making a wager on uh, on the gimmicks and uh, ended, up, ended up paying off. Just, that was just like, you know, like you, have, you have Fab who like, it made it a little bit Less cleanly, yeah. uh, but probably, that's probably probably has to do with some of the sync and the BPM. It's yeah. a weird BPM at 140, 
Um, and I've heard folks tend to think that it's a little bit late Synquest, uh, so that may have been may have been an adjustment. All right, now we're getting into in between, in between ESP. ESP. This is one of my favorite 15s. This is actually somewhat, one of the matches had it in the last round. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, it was um, Granny's, right? Yep. And then someone else. Let's yeah, see this how one, these players execute. This one's much more much more of a straightforward MA uh, thing. There's one stop at the beginning, uh, but after that, it's pretty straightforward. You'll see some streams uh, and a couple of quick jumps and step jumps, but at 150, 160, could be pretty manageable for both of these players. Also, I love the song. It's so good. All right, getting into it. Spetta looking to take it 2-0. Sab looking to equalize. I would be, I would be surprised if this didn't come down to the very end. Yeah, the very end is definitely going to be the differential. That is running this so clean, though. Wow. Woo. Very Just clean. PFC. Very clean. This is um, such a great song. I was waxing about how amazing it was. I love, I love this song. Yes. Also, uh, if if Sveta does end up pulling this out. Uh, she, she owes me a, a co-op credit uh, because uh, we played this for the side event, the Achievement Hunt side event. She was my team member. And we <laughs> played this together, so she does some recent practice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you can tell she's like, she's really attacking it. She's like definitely on the offense. Absolutely. Trying to like really MA this. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And Fab's also, I mean, she's not that far behind. No. Okay. She just a couple had a of stumbles early misses, but has yeah. kind of has come back with some really nice MA. Yeah, her sense. Those misses are like the only differential right now. Their MA is about the same on this so far. Yeah, absolutely. About 20. Yeah, yeah, about step 20. jumps. But this is still like not the end. <laughs> end. No, no. The end There's end is what's more. going to make the difference, really. There are a couple more streams like, and then they're really dealing quick with jumps. These they're dealing with these bursts really nicely. Yeah, you can jumps. see they're, they're um, oh, very clean. Very clean through the step jump. You can tell they have great technique. And Seta yeah. takes it with a great, great full combo. Seta 2-0 -oh on this match. Very clean. 49. 49 perfect. Six greats. Very clean. Super, great. super clean. This great is what job we by love both. To see. Great job by both players. But that that one is the, with those streams at 160. It's so easy to rush. So having that uh, low of an M, M or that good of an MA is really impressive. Great, so great matches here. Match. So that is the end of Swiss round one. Yep. So uh, we'll see. Now everyone will be shuffled, shuffled, around. shuffled around based off of how the records are. We still have a match floor. on the Red Note stream right now. Yep, looks like it. Looks like it's Malia and I can't see the other person. I was just checking to see. I think everything. Commentating is fun because I it enjoy commentating. <laughs> but as an EO, I like look. Oh at yeah, you're, you got Discord you got all these screens going on. Like one, <laughs> one, one, five, nine. All these notifications. Oh yeah. Yeah. Whenever whenever you have a crooked number on a Discord server notification, you're like, oh boy, what yeah. what exploded? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I get to do this. I get to like interact with everybody and I get to watch these matches. I totally. barely I. Um, I spent most of yesterday being like the welcome wagon for yeah. the newer players. Um, whoa, some hype on the other side. Got like, some hype so going on over there. A lot love of people to, to in hear it. pool one and pool two have never been to a DDR tournament before. So yeah. I did a lot of making sure that everyone was having a really good time. And um, a lot of the weird logistical things that happen during a tournament, like, you know, our hotspot going down, and uh, oh yes, you know. the the that was a it was a Murphy's Law day with with the internet and the stream yesterday. It's amazing we finished. <laughs> <laughs> we made it work. Every, we all made it work. Um, yeah, it was still fun. 
And you, you got to play both days. You weren't I, expecting you had to play I was both not days. <laughs> the funny part is, is I wouldn't have had to if we stayed on time. I know, exactly. It but it's, it's good that I got a good night's sleep. I did not. That's good. I was I, the fifth seed in pool three. Yeah, you in a level range. It. I am not. I am not good at that level range. But I mean, that's the beauty of DDR tournaments. Is one of the things about DDR tournaments is that it really. It really shows off your weaknesses yeah. in a good way right. if you take it to be good. What happens is, is like you realize like you're in your comfort zone and someone picks something against you that, that you're, is not in your comfort zone and yeah. you have to deal with it and then you remember. You know what and, to work on for the future. And yeah, like Boba Cup 2, um, I like tied on a bunch of lowers. I tied mm. with Croissant, who also made it out of pool three with me. And I also like, um, I didn't, I, I performed well, but I realized that, you know, like as much as I love playing harder songs for my skill level, mm. I had to go back and really fine tune like my mechanics on yeah. lowers. And then because of just the pool distribution, the level range for me in pool three was lower than Boba Cup. And mm. then I'm with all of these people who yeah, are very, very, very strong at lowers. And I had to really up my game. And so I've been, I haven't really practiced much for this tournament, but the practice that I have done has been very accuracy focused. That's good. And it's like really nice to see. And now it's like, you know, I played, play, got to pool four and yeah. a bunch of holes in my, in my <laughs> game got exposed again. Like uh, it was funny cause there's an entire card draw in pool four mm -hmm. where we chose the redraw. So the, the first option they give you is, do you guys both hate this because we'll redraw it immediately? <laughs> and I, I also used that once. We only used it once and we got a better redraw. And I took a picture of the one that we did and they asked me, my competitor asked me, like, why did you do that? I'm like, oh, so I can practice it because I didn't want to play any of those stuff. I'm terrified. <laughs> I think there was like a Smart. Tokyo in there and an Osaka in there. Just like all of these songs I feel you know, like I wouldn't like to play in a tournament, but you know, there's yeah. a chance that, you know, like, you know, we were at Red Note yeah. preparing for this tournament on Thursday and I get on the cab and I play Satan Boy Bon Voyage and I'm like, oh, fudge, I'm so terrible <laughs> at this song. I hope no one picks it on me. I got like a 934 full right. combo because and the 5-4 doesn't sit well with me. Right. And then Mango picked it on you. And then Mango Rotu <laughs> picked it. It's the only song I dropped in my pool. She didn't even know. She didn't even know that I was bad at it. She was just good at it. Yeah. She it's funny like, because I, I, to a certain extent, I already know some of the things I'm, I'm bad at. I definitely got exposed on some of like MA on the 14s. I got positively Debbie'd. Debbie, Debbie is Debbie made is some now, crazy Debbie, games. They're now being turned into a verb. Yes. Like you got Debbie'd. I got Debbie'd. <laughs> they pulled out a 43 perfect PFC on Paradis. Par I don't know how to pronounce it. Paradisis. I'm like, okay. I, I literally <laughs> could not beat that if I, yeah, that there as hard as I tried. Biggies was the same. <laughs> yeah. We did our, we did Private Eye as our warm up song. And I'm like, oh, you know, I can't, I can't combo. Like this song is like a meme for how bad I am compared to my skill level. <laughs> Like there's like a, uh, there's a video of me where I get like, I'm PFC and I get a good on one of the, s the steps that is in the freeze. And you just hear me go every effing time. Like, because that's <laughs> so usually where I break my PFC. Yep. And I got like 30 and I look over to Figgy's. Figgy's got six. Because she six? Had, she, she, had, she had six on Private Eye ESP and her PB was four. And she looked before the match, she looked at me, she's like, yeah, don't look at this score because I can't do this anymore. This is what happened. Well, I got this before I was pregnant and I, when I was really good at DDR. <laughs> and, and it's like, oh yeah, no, I, three years three years away or whatever, two kids, two, two, kids two extra, later, per, two extra perfects. Still can, yeah, two extra perfects <laughs> on her PB. It's like, <laughs> and I was just like, you know, I gotta work on MA even more to be yeah. at a better level. And that's the thing with these tournaments. MA is literally the most important thing. It is the most combo, important. If you drop combo, if you, like, doesn't matter how much you go for PFCs, if the MA isn't there, you're not gonna win. You're not gonna win. Uh, uh, so. Ooh, we got ourselves a draw. We, we got, we, we're seeing Sveta the draw between Kari. Kari and Sveta. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see what they didn't want to play. Last card, understandable. Fair. That's that's a tricky, tricky, drilly song. Wadazumi. Ooh, okay. So, yep, 16 getting vetoed. Uh, aftermath, another 16 getting vetoed. Yeah, those are... Aftermath's very stamina intensive. That's tricky. And Tenku Nahana, 15. So, I'm pretty sure Kari has PFC'd Rampage Hero. Then that I think that might worked have been, out. That worked out for Kari. That might have been her first PF, 16 PFC, or, like, she did really... I, 
Jeez, they get some bonkers score on it if it's not a PSG. Yeah, so Kari ended up protecting uh, Rampage Hero and Sveta counters with Elemental Creation DSP. That is a nasty little 14. It is a nasty little 14. At, at this level, it's probably going to be, it's gonna uh, be a an nice MA, MA battle. MA yeah. battle yeah. At, <laughs> at my level, it's like an, oh god, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Look what this. else they, they didn't pick the Bunny Girl Circus song. Oh, oh yeah, I love that one. Cosmic Hurricane's another one to not want to pick because they definitely played it for the qualifier. Oh, that's right, it was a qualifier. Yeah. That's that's always like a, a, a risky move. It's like, do you pick the qualifier on your opponent or not? Right. It's like you're both super familiar Especially with it. Especially since we didn't release the qualifier's results. Right. Yeah, so, so you don't know how well anyone did. You don't know how well did. anyone did. All since right. the qualifier was only a piece of how we seeded everybody. Yep. An important one. For sure. I'm going to pull up the details. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, yeah. Kari's, oh, look at that. Kari's notes, because I just looked at the commentator notes. Kari's note is, my first 16 PFC is Rampage Hero. Wow, that worked out really well and for her. And she didn't even pocket pick it, it appears. Yeah. It appears it nope, just came just up naturally pick. in the draw. So, Kari is originally, um, oh, she lives in SoCal, okay. but she's um, from NorCal, or she went to school in NorCal. And so okay. she's up, and she came to visit for a little bit, and we got to play together. Um, she's really very consistent. She's been entering a lot of uh, the uh, online tournaments. Hmm. So she was, um, she, I think she's doing Valkyrie Arena. That's right, yeah, I, I do remember seeing and her in Valkyrie Arena. She, she did um, Solstice Arena as well, hmm. the Snow Prism tournament. All right. All right, let's get into it. And Sveta continuing her <laughs> rampage. <laughs> yeah. Rampage, <laughs> rampage here. Pretty straightforward. Sixteen. Uh, a very tricky ending. Um, lots of five, lots of threes and fives and seven uh, bursts. Yeah, Sveta herself part. also has a triple A on this, so it will come down to how well you can execute this in a tournament setting under yeah. tournament variables. This might be a much closer match than the money score says because you know at both these players are ripping right now on yeah. this. Very, very strong performance so far. No no. Oh, yeah. It's this dead. is also gonna be a song that comes down to the end. Oh yeah, it's it's like basically dead even right you now. You just have a lot of twelves at the end. Little run the stream. They're basically tied. Basically tied. Uh, Kari like, picks up a great, but uh, money sc or uh, EX score wise, still EX dead, score -wise dead it's even. Literally dead even. So look at Sveta holding on. Wow. The execution by both players is just incredibly good. Oh, this is this this is gonna go down to the wire. Just, I don't, it's I don't, gonna, it's no, gonna be no determined. No inside here. It's no gonna grace. be determined by the by the, the green run the, at the well, end. We got some green Let's... arrow showdown at the end. We'll see how the players execute it, both in form and also MAing and timing. Yep, yep. You can do a, cro a crazy crossover run, or you can try to double step it. Let's see what here we these go. It's like virtually tied, folks. It's, it's tied. Oh, like we got some double step here action. Here we go. Oh we got my a god. Oh, and Sveta pulls gets it out. It. Wow. wow. It literally came down to the last like 10 measures of that song. That's the wild. money scores are near identical. That's wild. That is wild. Couple greats, couple perfects. That's it. Uh, yeah. That's the difference. That's, that's how the accuracy game goes. Eight, eight, eight points. Wild. That's a, uh, that was a match. That, that was, a was definitely a match. We knew where it was gonna. We knew it was gonna come down to that end. Yeah, but we did not know how exciting. That what was a great going tournament to song that is! Because it's like, all right, if, if you're both locked in on MA, you're gonna trade back and forth, and then it's just all about that crazy run at the end. It went, yeah, when and rhythm like it's 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 like a it's definitely a skill. Like we saw the last pool, bank pad and step machine picked in the same oh. set on Ooh, this cap. That's fun. And like just switching between those green, like, you know, like the 16th burst into green notes. Yeah. Like the amount of, you know, accuracy you're going to lose just changing your meter internally. Mm, yeah. Is, is a, that's a that, huge that skill. Is, that is a, yeah, that is an absolutely a huge skill yeah. set to have is being able to differentiate between those different type, different rhythms. Yeah, those different rhythms. Now we're just going to go for the, the straight MA. Yeah, this is going to be, streaming, this is going to be MA streaming City. Streaming extremers in battle. 
With so, a little bit of a slowdown break in the middle, but. Yeah, so this, so this is a cool song, it's a cool chart. I do have one, I have a, I have a vendetta against this song for one reason. Why'd it gotta be 424? <laughs> why can't it just be, why can't it just be 412, or 212? <laughs> there's no good, there's no good speed modifier. Anyway, there's, I'm, yeah, I'm there's done, no good speed I'm done, modifier. we're moving on. <laughs> All right, let's go. is running at a 1.5, which is uh, and I can't tell what this car I have it at. And here we go. Streamy, streamy, streamy. Yep, looks like they're both reading it. Pretty fast. Looks like Sped is doing the crossovers. Uh, seems to be like Kari's kind of doing a mix of both. Pretty tricky crossover they run. They are they're pretty much dead tied right now. This will definitely come down with as fast as the arrows scroll at 424. It'll come down to like error recovery. It'll come down to the slowdown. Yep. How they ma the slowdown if they continue if they continue the lock in on the stream. Yeah, and locking in on the sync as well. Right. Sync's pretty tricky on the song. This is basically I both competitors game to lose. Because they're so evenly matched. Like, Kari lost the note on the on the, the beginning of the slowdown there, but seems to have recovered just fine. Sveta is up by 12. 10. 10. No. 10. 10 and inching, with Kari inching forward step by step. See how they manage the slowdown. Yes. This is such a hard slowdown to, to read in MA. So slow. So slow. Better going into the. We're about to go back ending. up again. About a 20 point Let's lead. Let's take it home. Who can lock into this marvelous window better and stay in there? That's how close this battle is. Oh, looks like Kari's making up some ground. Oh. Oh. This is gonna come. Uh, this is gonna come down to this. Oh my God. The end. It is so close. This is nuts. Oh, Kari with a drop, but still hanging on. Still dead even. Here we go. Wow, oh, wow. Curry by five. What a comeback. But and both Car players taking each Curry other's by picks. Five. Even though Sped has triple eight it with a great full combo, Kari got two misses and a good. But so her MA just the MA. pulled her over the literally pulled her over the finish line in the last like 20, 30 steps. It's always wild to see players take each uh, each other's picks off of each other. Each other, <laughs> yeah, it's so wild, I love that's, it. That's super cool to see. It really it's, is so imp it, it, impressive and it's just so inspiring. Yeah, it's it's and it shows both how evenly, how closely matched the pools how are. How closely matched these pools are, And yeah. also how much it just depends on execution on, on the day. Execution on, on that the song. day, absolutely. Like, whatever the card draw gives you yeah. and how well you can just do it. Yep. And like, you know, and it's not easy to come to the DDR tournament. You know, you don't get a do-over. Right. You don't get to like play a song and see your gold combo drop. You go, well, and you shrug and walk right. off and start again. <laughs> like, which is totally valid and everyone has their way of playing, but in a head-to-head, -head, like, you know, it could be you, it could be the pad, it could be the noise pollution and people screaming at the other machine. And it's all these things. Yeah. It's a completely different beast oh, yeah. to be playing a head-to-head. -head. Requires a very different kind of focus, Like I A think. different kind of focus. And like, just coming here, even if you're not PBing, yeah. it's like, if this is, I, I don't, not, I, I can tell you pretty, pretty like very, very confidently that maybe two of the players, one player, maybe zero of these players call this their home arcade. Right. Right. Nobody here. Yeah. A lot of us have traveled. So and a lot so of us, some people don't even play in an arcade anymore. Right. Yeah, that's true. So these are all of these crazy tournament variables that you have to consider when you're coming. Like, like so even if you're not PBing, which PB is just money scores. Right. We don't even know like what these competitors' actual accuracy money score for uh, their sure. X score right. PBs would be. And they're coming here with the tournament hype and the focus and just like the fire of competition is what's pulling these PBs out of them yeah. in these situations. Speaking of which. <laughs> mm, something's going down on that side, <laughs> on the red note. Hope you all got both streams open. Uh, yes, we do recommend you also be over at the Red Note Gaming Stream. Let me see. 
It is loud over there. <laughs> I, yeah, it looks like there was a. But uh, on this side, we're gonna have uh, Malia versus Fabsab. We got Fabsab back again. Um, let me open the bracket. Do we have the Do we have the bracket anywhere? I do not okay. have the bracket. I don't trust it half the time. Star TV's See? been very <laughs> finicky this weekend. It, it, it is It is finicky. I remember seeing our, our logistic team being an existential crisis when Star TG, they rehearsed the Star TG bracket <laughs> all week and they opened it and Star TG's like, gotcha, we messed everyone up. Right, oh yeah, uh, Haruki spent a while re manually reseeding re everyone. everybody because of it. <laughs> all right, oh, we got a, we got a pocket pick on board. We got a pocket pick on board, Beachside Bunny. This is round three, right? Round uh, two? two, round this two. round two, okay. Round two, yep. Um, we got a we got a we got a pocket pick of Beachside Bunny ESP. Very, uh, I guess you could call it straightforward. It is uh, it is just an endurance test. You got jumps, you got screams, you got some drills, and it is relentless. Um, and so I think uh, Fabsat being ITG main, I know she has incredible this stamina. Is probably a perfect pick for an ITG main. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I have a confession to make. Okay. My one of my last tournaments, I got beat by Bunny in a draw. The and 15 I or the 11? The 15, and I and I vetoed it. I mean, I picked Kimono Princess over it. That, those are my last, my two options. Those are your options? Yeah. Brutal. Our NorCal tournaments can be a little bit brutal. Shout I would also, the, uh, I would also probably pick Kimono Princess to be fair. So, I'm with you. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, and Malia countering with uh, what was uh, Diamond Dust? It looks like. Challenge? Yeah, Diamond Dust CSP, the 13. All right, but we're getting right into it. Beachside Bunny. Yo! Can we get can we get some yo's in the chat? I'll yo. be I'll, I'll be I'll be cringe. It's fine. Let's get some yo's in the chat. Some sun emojis. <laughs> I love the star emoji that's in a bunch of uh, DDR discords. The little, little star yo. I love it. Man, this song makes me want to go back out to the, and float on the lazy river with a margarita <laughs> during a DJ set, which Malia was probably doing yesterday, actually. Fair. After we, placing fourth at the Big Deal tournament, the women non-binary tournament. Oh, right, and then flew here. She flew here. That's bonkers. And sat poolside to relax for a day before coming here and playing Amazing. this Amazing. That's what we like to see. Malia's holding on to a slight lead right now, it looks it like. It's so tight, though. Yeah. It's so this, close. This is, this again, this song Malia is long. It is an endurance days. test. Yeah. It is a consistency test. It is everything. Oh, looks like Sab uh, has pulled back ahead. so many streams in this song. It really, it tests your form, it tests your consistency, it tests obviously your stamina and endurance. Oh wow, what a clean run from Sav right there. Yeah, Sav is just executing yeah. all of these streams. You can definitely tell. She's, she's showing her stamina chops for sure. Yeah. You're gonna break the meter. You can tell that her skill set is shining through with this pick. Oh yeah. With this song being such an end endurance test, oh, it's, it's actually pretty smart for Malia to just like try to just push pick, herself pick, yeah. to finish it, but not necessarily like win it. Yeah, pick, pick her battles. Yeah. She's, she's got her pick coming up. Sab takes it convincingly. Takes it very handily. This song was very built for her skill set. So. Oh, 100%. She's got an incredible form. All right, now we're getting into the, uh, pretty soon we'll be getting into the next song, which was Malia's Protect, which I believe was Diamond, Diamond Dust. Diamond Dust, CSP. CSP. Yeah. Which is something completely different. And now uh, for something completely different, yeah. <laughs> which is good. I like, I love the variety. There's so the, much the variety in this game. The 13 to 16 range, I mean, that's that's the meat, right? That's the meat yeah, of the charts. Yeah, you see the PB-wise, she's sitting on a nice, 992. Very nice. I'd be curious what her MA is on that. It's probably really damn good. Uh, yeah. But the thing with Diamond Dust, it is 
The shock chart? I think chart? It's, pre- the sho- it's it is a shock chart, which means it is, it's relatively comfortable to MA, but boy, is it a pain to full combo. Because <laughs> you gotta be you gotta be jumping all around on the shock charts. Although for sh- for a thirteen shock chart, Diamond Dust is relatively straightforward. Yep. Um, so this will definitely overall be an MA contest. Select level. Second stage. I always think it's bold picking a shock arrow chart in a tournament. You never know with shock. You never shock know arrows. with shocks, especially like if you don't know the patch very well. Exactly. The sensitivity. I tend to not pick them unless I've played on the pads. Yeah, makes sense. Well, let's see it. Let's see what they got. Combo after combo. Look at all those combos. Unsurprisingly, it's uh, a lot of marvelous. Lots of marvelous. Big old, big old aim at it's, MA They're battle. pretty much tied. Yeah. Pretty uh, clean execution on the shock technique out of both of them. Do you so check to see who Malia has on her pacemaker? Is it herself? I'm pretty sure it's herself. It's probably herself, yeah. So up. If so, she has them up. Oh. She dropped a little. But I mean, X wise, her score is pretty almost the same as yeah. whatever's on her pacemaker. With those couple of drops, uh, Sab manages to pull ahead a little bit. Uh, but there's still a fair still bit really of song close. to go. Yeah. About 10. Oh. Malia hits the first one to hit a shock. Well, Fab is killing it. Yeah, she is locked in. Oh, oh. Gee. I am so sorry, folks. That was 100% <laughs> my fault. <laughs> sorry. I know Fab's going to watch this app. I'm so sorry, Fab. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Malia almost pulled it back. I'm so close. 14 by 14. Sab two O's this. That it was that one was... miss, that one shock arrow. How dare you. How very, how very, how very, how very, how very so dare you. I <laughs> I should not have said anything. I know it's, it's wild here. Malia actually had the better MA here, but it was those couple of uh, shock arrows and a couple of goods that yeah. ended up being the difference that maker. That ended up being the difference, yeah. Shock arrow charts are just so tricky to pick. Yeah, they're so volatile they're in so a tournament. Volatile. You never know. You like know the time, gonna with they that. should not have their own hitbox for timing window. It's funny because we uh we ran like an X3 tournament um was it? A, a couple weeks ago. Dev, one of our staff members, did a local. Mm-hmm. And um apparently the shock arrows in X3 are nicer. Really? They like don't a wider, they, better, wider you window. Hit them, but they don't block the next section of the screen out. Uh, we're like, wait a minute. That's nice. Why is DDR bamboozling us now? Why yeah. do they make all of these shots harder? To be, yeah, that is definitely like the most disorienting part of shock arrows is that you get like the whoa, uh, like you blurring, get a penalty blurring screen. On top of your penalty gets a penalty. Like, it's bro, like, you already <laughs> broke my combo. No 3EX for you. Also, you can't see the next note. You Have can't fun. see the, ne- the, same, the next couple of notes. <laughs> uh, Have fun. Like it's it's too it's so it's so high risk high reward absolutely, absolutely. type situation if you're good at shock charts yeah I think I've only ever played one in a tournament they get vetoed so fast yeah, and it was I think it was to. my protect so, oh really yeah yeah spicy what was it some fourteen and on eight twenty I gotta uh, look that top up top of charts yeah 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 that's a good one yeah I like that one. That was that was the thing I had to play. Oh, and then we also drew the D, the the ESP. Really? In the oh, the twelve draw. and the fourteen. Yeah. Oh, in that's seven, funny. In like seven card card draw. That's wild. And then the, very, we had like very some different charts. Really, too. really jank stuff in between. <laughs> like I think we ended up vetoing chaos maybe. So like it what's was like with, what's we, wrong with we chaos? We actually like had to pick those things. <laughs> we had no choice. What do you got against chaos? Chaos is fun. I I don't I haven't learned it yet. <laughs> Y'all should have pocket picked it. Oh, you can't. You couldn't have. I was like, I think I remember like uh, last night after winning pool three, and going to pool four. I was like, I don't know what anyone would pick on me, but I really hope it's not chaos. Fair. Pluto the first and I have become tentative friends. Really, We're see for friends. for me that's the one of like please no. I had to play it for a gauntlet tournament. That's the like literally anything I've played that I've had some crack scores on. Has because been because someone else has dragged me into playing it. There you go. 
for so. folks pushing each other to get better. It's great. Yeah, that's that is what tournaments are about. Because I mean, like there are some people that have that intrinsic motivation yeah. to like, you know, really work For on sure. stuff they're not good at. Yeah. But I, then there are a lot of people that need a kick in the butt. Yeah. And I I have a lot of intrinsic motivation, but I don't have Pluto the first DSP <laughs> intrinsic motivation. See, for me, I uh, I sort of have that motivation, but because I'm like, I feel like I don't. My physical kind of holds me back a little bit. My MA kind of holds me back Same. a little bit. So I'm like, I'm if I'm gonna, I'm not make sure I don't get beat on chart knowledge. Essentially, that's like kind of my, that's like my goal. Because I'm like, if someone goes head to head with me in an MA battle, I'm like, I don't know, man. Who who knows what's gonna happen? Knows what's but gonna I try happen. to I try to yeah I try to like diversify my my chart knowledge a little bit. And, but and now I've been is, trying to like backfill in and actually like work on my MA more uh, consistently. Get, and like that's, consistent I'm it. horrible at chart knowledge. Like mm. it's like one of the first things I realized. Like, I've I've like beamed about it on Twitter before. Like because I when I played in extreme we had like roughly 300 charts. Sure. And everyone was like, oh you're so consistent and you know like you're you're good and your skill is there. But so it's because I had memorized all the charts. I knew where all the weird shit was <laughs> and all of the sync issues were. Yeah. And now I come to DDR and I'm like, I have never seen this song in my entire life. Like, like, and I had said that maybe yeah. four times in all of the draws. <laughs> I'm like, there's, I like think what, there's like several thousand charts now, right? Especially things with, with like, there's so many charts with anime girls <laughs> and titles that aren't in English and like, I don't... And like, you know, being like the 12 folder is gigantic. There's yes. so many things. And I was in my pool and I'm just like, I don't know. And, you gotta and, play it all, man. And you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta play it all. <laughs> but I've only been back playing for about a year. Okay. So there's only so many, like, you know, so much I can cram no, into my course. tiny brain and retain it. It's kind of, it's a process, I feel like. It you just play a, a little bit at a time. It play a little at a time, learn it. And so like, like that's what a tournament setting is good for. Is you can see what, all the other jank violence people pick. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, I'll go study that yep. just in case it happens Spe to me one day. Speaking of, uh, you mentioned the Tokyos early. I do highly recommend uh, learning the Tokyos, but I am very biased considering I used Use all three, all three Tokyos <laughs> in, in between the two pools. I you made everyone suffer through all three Tokyos, and I apologize to my opponents and the audience for that. That is but. okay. <laughs> I will now There's, note that I need to practice the Tokyos, and I'll dedicate that to you. <laughs> Amazing. So, much yeah, like I dedicated I, Heaven is a 57 to you. Yes. Oh. Because I've seen you just use that in tournaments and just destroy people in it. And I'm like, that that person's better at boomer charts than me, the boomer. Because I was never that, good at that chart. Just that one. Just that one. Well, that was like my favorite song when I, I played like on and off Supernova. Yeah. That was like my favorite, favorite, favorite That's one. Fair. So it's I a came good back. chart. It's just wonky. It's wonky. Right. And, and I, you know, I am not above violence i pocket picked <laughs> delta max ds i saw you you picked it on starby and Fly. the funny I'm part like, is, is i wasn't good at that song two months ago <laughs> it was hey, shout go. out to my solstice arena pool members one who was in my pool miso soup picked delta max dsp as violence Ooh. in the final round and i studied it and it's the reason i won the division was Damn. because i i think i had 100 plus x over my competitors who were much better at me and everything else. But you learned but it. You learned it. You grinded it. You I had to learn Delta. I was the, the one that learned Delta Max the most <laughs> in my pool, in my pool of people. And it's like I show up to a tournament and I'm like, yeah, Delta Max. And everyone's like, no. <laughs> no, Julie, that's too much. That's <laughs> why you, too why much. You, why you do this? Why you do this? That's okay. I'll create a monster. I'll watch I'll watch Star, like, kill me in the next tournament because she's practiced <laughs> Delta Max or something. Yeah, Yo, you seen that? You see that girl play Avenger against me? Yes. She's cracked at Avenger. She's cracked crazy. at Avenger. She just like pulled out a 985 in tournament. That's a on PB Avenger. or close to a PB. Close. She has Very about close. the same same score. I'm like. Well, we gotta we gotta compare X because X is important. Right. But yeah, did absolutely you have the tournament is nuts. What? I mean, I as somebody who won a tournament uh, a tournament division. Yeah. On Avenger DSP. With like a 942, but this was like a while a while ago, and I'm sure. significantly lower in skill. I like I understand how like that is a brutal chart. Yeah. And like you know if you're in a head to if you're a head to head, that is something you have to expect. Is yeah. people are gonna pick that, 
on you. The funny part is, is like it's the jacks at the end, and I'm really good at jacks. Okay. I can't read it by the end, and I can't time the jacks. So mm. I've been working on it very slowly. The, that's the thing, right? Is like it puts you through this reading endurance crossover nonsense test, and then it's the jacks. And it's I feel like if the the chart were backwards, I'd have a much better time. <laughs> I, <laughs> you know I what agree, I mean? and I'm I am. I am the slow reader person. I right. love slow reading. Yeah. Because anything you know you're going to get from me is going to be probably something that's going to make you read really slow at some point. Yeah. I pocket pick Poochie in pool three. Poochie right, DSP. right, right. I love that chart. Yeah. That's so it's one. a great, it's a great 12. And like, I was very close, but it was just funny because it's just like, I just, I didn't even pick a two in. I picked a, I love, love slow reading. I used to be a 1x no bar player. Wow. In the okay. back in the day. Damn. I like I've shown up like even the when I quit competitive DDR my very last tournament I played most of it 1.5 no bar X on DDR stream wow. even though I was a bar just for fun it's like that's how I what I felt was fun at the time nice so that's it's cool. just fun to be able to like have a skill that's still relevant even as the rest of my skills are irrelevant <laughs> as a dinosaur of DDR so yeah I wonder who we're getting next it looks like we're getting. I see Heather coming up. Yep, looks like Heather and, and, Kari. and Kari. Nice. Yeah, I love this. I'm so happy. So I'm trying to see uh, where they're at in the bracket. Internet, please. Internet, please. Okay, so this is round three. This is round three, so uh, the, the fate of this match these matches will seed the top four players into the, the best of five playoffs. Okay, so the... Uh, Looks like something happened over there. Wow! Oh my god. Oh yeah, we got some crazy scores on Sword of Vengeance yeah, on the other stream. Yeah, crazy scores on the other cap. Make sure you have both streams up. Yeah. Snap it, snap it, or double monitor it if you are so privileged just to have it. Shout out to Vancouver. I see in the chat. Um, yeah, I so actually started playing DDR in British Columbia oh. when I was a teenager. That was the first time. I, I played at the old Palladium in Vancouver, British Columbia, because I have family out there. Nice. So that was like the first, the second time I played DDR. That's cool. The first time was in Whistler, so. <laughs> yeah, so you can also consider me a Canadian DDR. I'm not a Canadian DDR fan. No. That's where I got my start. And when I was 15 in 2000, 2001, 2002. Wow. Roughly, yeah. So. So we have, so we, again, we have Heather and Kari here. They were five. They oh, were I'm currently so glad someone else remembers Pladium. They're Very cool. Five and, five and six uh, in the bracket right now. Um, so they're playing for oh, a boy. shot to get into the playoffs. If Kari one of pocket pick Prey DSP. Oh boy. That is unbelievable Sparky remix. <laughs> yep, and then Heather protected unbelievable. I see what they didn't pick. Uh, Gaia, straight go for forward the top. Suit. That's also fair. Yep. Yeah, so when someone uses a pocket pick, they, they get vetoes, but obviously they're using a pocket pick, so they don't need to... The other person doesn't have to worry about vetoing. So yeah, we're getting into it. Prey, Prey DSP. Gawa, they did not pick. I actually Lots. had to play that in my last tournament. <laughs> Very cold. Right, let's go. Lots let's of, go. Let's do it. So Prey, DSP, Infamous, lots of fast jacks, some jumps, some step jumps. It's all about keeping up. And then there's some there's some kind of staggered rhythms at the end. Oops. I wonder if that came up. Hopefully it is. Oh, Kari's doing pretty good. Oh, wow. How are we doing the crossovers? Very nice. Very clean. Oh, they're they ripping, they ripping through we're these, ripping. these mini jacks. Kari has about a five point lead, it looks like. Get a little break, a little break from the after the jacks, which is which is always welcome. It was appreciated. And back into it. The jacks into step jumps. Wow. That's such an insidious pattern. Kari maintaining Kari. combo through that. Going ahead a little step bit. Step jump stream. Oh. Uh, uh, it looks like Kari's pulling ahead here. This is not Kari. This is Kari's pocket pick. So we expect her coming in here. Yeah. 
that Heather putting up a really strong showing on a very, very difficult chart. Very Sorry, takes nice. It. Very that clean. Is a, that was a pocket pick of all time. <laughs> Hurry just destroyed that 57. middle part. 57. Oh, wow. That's some clean MA. Very on a clean MA. Very hard 15. The bunny scores are near identical. Yep, it all, all came down to MA. It's like uh, Heather needs a, <laughs> needs a cool down after that one. Fan? Understandable. I have fans. There's a there's a there's a big fan up there. Okay, I hopefully it's on. I don't know if it's on. It might not be on. Hi Wayland. I don't know actually any of the. I wasn't in the competitive scene until about 2004 on the East Coast, so I don't remember those names. But I definitely got like my baby DDR start. Like I got hooked on my. I have family out in Vancouver. They are all shocked I still play this game. <laughs> Was it 27 years later or something? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm old school compared to a lot of people here. All right, now we're going into another 15. Uh, definitely something completely different musically. Very uh, different musically. <laughs> uh, Heather's pick, uh, unbelievable. Uh, crowd favorite. Uh, one of the. I feel like a, a June 15 that's more universally loved in general compared to some of the others. Um, this is a nice kind of fair 15, I would say. Nice what? Fair 15. Yeah. Uh, the, the the trickiest part, at least to me, is uh, are the twisty bits in the choruses. The twisty bits, yeah. Those it's, are like, hard. It's, it's very interesting to see how different play styles negotiate that. Yeah. Some some will double step, but it's it's. 16th at 175, that's kind of in that like in-between zone of like, can yeah. I make it? Can I double step it? Um, it does resolve all nicely if you do turn it, but you you gotta you gotta be on top of your game to execute those turns. Yep. Um, I know there's some players that will sacrifice maybe uh, on some of those turns, will like eat a, a good or Hold a up. miss to have more consistent MA throughout the pattern so that they don't get off balance. That's I think at the level these players are playing at, though, we'll see them really, like, Akari seems to have a grateful combo on it. Yep. Heather, well, we can't really tell because um, Looks like a 987. she's got an A3 EMU's main, but. Oh, true. Yeah, so that, that may be an old score. But that means she has played it on A3 at some point, so. Or it's transferred from A20. Right. But the, the, the money, you know, with money score, you can't really tell. Right. So. Very true. They are definitely cooling down after that prey. <laughs> I was just looking. Yeah, so these players, they're playing, they're five and six, so they're playing for a chance to get into slot four, uh, which would which would uh, earn them a spot in the playoffs. Here we go. Let's get into it. A, like a nice, pleasant beginning. It really, uh, a hot, it, it, it hides the challenge that's coming. Lulls you into uh, a sense of security. It's breathing I think. under the wings. <laughs> Underneath all of these nice, easy patterns. But you get to bop with the music, so that's nice. All right, it is looking dead oh, even going into the chorus. Do they know? Oh, they do know. Oh, they, they know. They definitely know. Freezes. Okay, looks like we've got some, some kind of scoot double stepping happening. Oh, oh no, some really nice crossover form from Heather there. Well, Heather is doing all the turns. Oh, that was, they're very clean, very, very clean, clean turns. Uh, Kari up by two. It is. Kari is very even. strong at double stepping. Incredibly yeah. strong at double stepping. So we will see whose form. 
will reign supreme. <laughs> Probably comes dropping a couple of greats there, and uh, Heather's able to equalize. They're virtually gonna... tied. Yeah, point. coming into the slowdown here. Here comes the slowdown. And then there isn't much song left, so yeah. these last steps will actually determine. We got these who little quick the jacks as the, as the speeds up. A little run at the end. Right at the end. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Holy Maroney. Heather almost lost it at the end there, but managed One to just X. clutch out just enough. That last burst. That last burst. Wow. Incredible. That was it. That was completely it, was that last burst. They that tied wild. in Marvelouses. That's wild. Like, the differential, because goods and misses are both the same, was one great. Like, wow. like one That's great. That's crazy. I, s I do see two goods on Impressive. Kari's side. I wonder if there's going to be a, a pad arbitration inquiry. It's possible. It is possible. Uh, so we'll see what happens for that. Um, I believe with with good with pad arbitration, it'll uh, if it's determined, that the good was the result of the pad, it will shift up to the next highest uh, judgment, which would be a great. So we could. It depends on. It depends. I don't, yeah, we don't know if they're gonna do. Yeah, we'll let the, we'll see what uh, the players and the tos are thinking there. And we'll let you know as soon as we know. But incredible match nonetheless. It's totally understandable We're to be. We're waiting to, to see what's going to happen. With it this. looks like they are they are talking about things. It's very understandable. I think uh, this may, if Kari were to take this, this might earn her a spot in the playoffs. So it's it's understandable that you know they want to do their due diligence. Correct. So what? What was your pad arbitrating here? Yeah. So based on pad arbitration rules, uh, Kari has. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, so. Harry so is choosing her pad arbitration. So the pad arbitration is going to force a replay uh, of the same of the same song. Yeah. Same song. Okay. Okay. So they're gonna so they're gonna replay this. So then we get to see another hype match of the same song. That's exciting. It was so close. Yeah. It. We only usually allow power, pad arbitration within like a certain amount of X. It has yeah. to be very, very I believe close. It's within, with this tournament, I believe it's within six EX. Yeah. You can ask for it. Um, and yeah, so sometimes with pad arbitration, they'll shift your judgments up from uh, whatever the pad caused up to the next best judgment that you have. So in this case, it would move the goods to a good to a great. Um, but with the, the rules that we have here, uh, it is you are allowed to have use your one replay. Yeah. So, challenge, so. This is going to be interesting. I haven't seen a pad arbitration call yeah. in a tournament in a while. Yeah. We've been we're fortunate. Uh, Cygnus and Dave, who are the, the two folks who are working on the pads, yeah. uh, Look, Dave, uh, all Dana. day, uh, was it Friday? So, yeah, these at, pads were virtually unplayable um, before the tournament. Yep. So we are leaving Las Vegas after this tournament with playable white caps. Yeah, so shout out. If you out. ever want to run the biggest ruse ever. Run a tournament at your round one with a cab rental, and they have to fix them for you. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually, uh, that's how our home arcade in San Jose has been fixed. Is, uh, oh, that's wild. Shout out to Zio. Nice. Yeah, so uh, big shout out to Dave and to Cygnus for, for, big shout working, out to Dave for working on the pads for hours and hours uh, before the tournament started. Yeah. But, and, then know, and then again this morning before pool yep, started Dave again. Dave also worked on it this morning, which is very great. We love our tech folks. Yeah, these pads are really nice now. Like, they're not perfect. I feel great. They feel great. They're not too flush. They're not cratered. They're like a very fair. They feel very not, even. They not don't, over modded. They don't over advantage any particular play style, yeah. I, don't, I think. So yeah, it's nice. I never pick pad side, and I really don't pick pad side when all the pads are all this good. Yeah, I, I, I never picked pad side because I'm like, yeah, these are both fine. These are both great, <laughs> yeah. 
I think the only reason to pick, well, one would pick Pat's side is if someone has, if someone's more comfortable reading in a particular direction. Oh, I have a, that's not the reason I, the only time I'll ever take Pat's side uh, as a choice is noise pollution. Interesting, that makes sense, yeah. So, if like there's another cab and the, or other, like I'll actually take that into account at, yeah. at crowded arcades. Like, makes sense. And so if there's like another music game cab that's facing it, I will, Definitely take pad side. If, if Sound Voltex is blasting from behind you, that'll, yeah. for example. Yeah. So noise Sound Voltex is great, but dear God, are those speakers so loud? I can't. I, <laughs> I tried to play Sound Voltex, right? Because I'm like, oh, this looks cool. You got the knobs. That's so fun. I played it once. I my ears started hurting. I'm like, okay, I can't do this. I'm sorry. That sounds like <laughs> a skill issue for your okay. local. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. Like, fine. No, no, not for you. I was just saying, like, <laughs> your local mechs. Not, not okay. maintaining the Shout correct volume level. Shout out to Holyoke, uh, Massachusetts, round one for turning the Sound Voltex cab all the way up for some reason. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> I will come visit at some point. <laughs> Massachusetts is where I had, where I used to play DDR. Not Holyoke, obviously. Uh, oh, really? Where, I, at, where at? I played it. So I was. I started my bo my tournament career in Boston. I was oh, a right. student at Boston University. Oh, sick. I was like saying it during pool five that there's a really, really high probability that Hamlet and I had played at the same arcade on the same day. Wow. Because they are also a DDR player back then. Right. But, uh, but they weren't in the, the, the big community. They were in the MIT community. Because yeah. I was like, I would, uh, the MIT Student Center was open to everyone. Mm -hmm. So our general, like I started my career playing DDR tournaments in that, like in Massachusetts. Oh, that's Which sick. is why when I moved to California, no one knew who I was. I was like, <laughs> I will just be normal and no one will know who I am and I'll just post. Right. And then people just dragged me into the DDR scene in NorCal because everyone's fantastic. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the Cali, NorCal and SoCal DDR communities are so awesome. Everyone like, is awesome. I've... Hi, Lumen. Oh. I've made so many, so many wonderful friends, uh, friends for life, honestly, with, uh, it, from folk DDR players in California. Uh, met through Discord and then, like, met up at tournaments and other other stuff in Cali. And uh, yeah, I love it. It feels like a second home to me. It's great. You should come visit. I do. I try to as much as as much as my wallet allows me. As, are, is your, are you allergic to dogs? Because you can always stay at my house. Really? I have four dogs. I'm not allergic to dogs. Okay. See, look, these are my four dogs. Uh, on this. And adorable. Yeah. Also, those, are, those posters are so cute. Yeah. They're adorable. Oh Shout my God. Shout out to Julianne, who Amazing. made them. That's so awesome. Cal. I, I I might take you up on that. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, come visit. I you hang out with us. We like be awesome. we all just we all hang out at yeah. like Eastridge Mall. And that's like our weekend. Yeah, when mall I, rats round one for life. Yeah, whenever there's a Cali tournament, I'm like I uh, like Cali. That's not like a, a a super local one. I try to make it out. Yeah, that's I mean, we. I'm are, just like hey guys, I'm the one from the East Coast. I'm the Massachusetts one. Hi. And we love that you do come out for these. What? You're, great. You're a great staff member. Aww. You're so good at sound. Thank and you. you do all these things and commentate. And you know, you're a very I'm clutch happy to, day of. Thank you. I'm happy to help wonderful people put on a great event. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. It looks like they might. Yeah. Looks like we got some chatting going on about the pads and they, what, what to do about the pads before the replay happens. Because obviously, yeah. if there was a pad issue. I think they're trying issue, to get a mech to look at the pad. Yeah. Cause if, which is part of the pad arbitration. Yeah, obviously, if there's a pad issue, you should, you know, you want to take a look at it to see what's going on before right. you replay the same song. Because otherwise, you may have the same thing happen again. The same thing might happen again, yeah. So. I'll see if we can get an update from the current TOs who are yeah. managing this. I think they have the operator menu on and they're testing, so it might be a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're doing a sensor test. Yep. Good old sensor test. Ah, uh, yes. Lumen's ITL jacket is incredible. Um, hmm. And it's oh, also, yeah. it's knockoff ITL merchandise <laughs> because she designed it for her pers own personal consumption. Yeah, that's She's tight. incredible. She helped us a lot with the merch. She's also in charge of a lot of like the Valkyrie merch. Oh, really? So she, yeah, she designed that's a lot of the blue merch, I think. Okay, so that's why the all the Valk merch is both like super sick looking and also like really reasonably priced for like 
All of the merch. merch. So we actually shout out to merch. Like this is our oh yeah our Zina. thing, and we have like screen printed T-shirts. It's all on sale, like print to order for the website, and a lot of the money that we're getting, the, the money that we've gotten for merch is going directly back into tournament operation costs. Amazing. We bring like this stream to you, like all the tables we've had to rent for this. So much stream gear to make this happen. Yeah. Shout out to- T-Mobile is sick of us at this point. <laughs> we've gone back there to get a bunch of hot spots and stuff. Just to make sure that the stream is running for you all. So we have a mech coming and looking at our cab. Uh, if you want to see some good ass DDR, definitely yeah. check out the Red Note stream. But you can keep an eye on this one because we're going to have that replay of Unbelievable. Hi, Dave. Shout outs to Dave. I don't think we can. You should come into the stream. Oh, he's like, no. He doesn't want any attention <laughs> on him. It's, I understand that. Yes, I think, I think you can, or we, we can see. I don't know if, I don't but know if they can see. But it's pretty good. So Dave and Alex are over there. Yeah. Helping we got, them back. We got some tech, mechanic tech Which folks is like, working on it. It's like the mech's boss is helping. <laughs> and Alex owns a cab, so he also knows how to uh, maintain a pad. Oh, really? Nice. I need someone to teach me. I mean, it's not in NorCal, but I, think, I believe it lives with uh, Yama. Okay. I need, I need someone to teach me that because I have I have an SMX at home and it's like I know that is like the most user friendly to like maintain and all that and I just you know like what? Uh, and a, 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 yeah Step Maniacs pad um, at home and I'm like and I'm, I need to I need to fix or rotate the sensors or something and I'm just like I am the least technically minded handy person you can you would ever possibly meet in your entire life. I feel that. <laughs> I thought I was so, such hot shit when I was like 15 and my soft pad broke and I had to cut it open and like um, realized one of the buttons died. I had to remap the buttons with foil. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you do the, to get the, the foil connectors. Mod. Yep. I was like, wow, look, I'm so technical. And then these days everyone owns a hard pad at home. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like I actually do own a hard pad at home. I haven't set it up yet. Mm. It was built by Dev. It's oh, an wow. old Cobalt Flux like old, old, and she gutted it and put arcade sensors in it. But it doesn't have a bar, and I have been so busy with running this tournament and yeah. all of the DDR events prior to that and personal engagements that I was like, I really want to have it for Dance Games Every Day February so I would could play dance games at home, and yeah. I couldn't even get it set up. Oh, no. Because I was hosting people for Genesis up in NorCal uh, okay. for the DDR tournament. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's not even worth it to put together. <laughs> So it's sitting under my bed currently. Nice. And, it do be like, like that. Yeah, because it'll be a, like that'll be my summer project. Just get a bar for it and like play it. Because for dance games every day February, which I did every single day of, I had to drive to my closest arcade, which is minimum twenty five minutes. You drove away. every day to every an arcade day. to make it work. Damn worse, girl. Like, I um I work. I didn't have a job last year when I did it. I was unemployed, and this year I wasn't unemployed, so I had to work <laughs> nine to five then. Go to dog training, which is my other hobby. Is to bring my dogs to class, mm. drop my dogs off, get it, like, to take a nap, and get in my car. So almost every day, I was at the arcade at 11:30. That to play is from like 11:30 to one. That is so powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and then wake up at nine the next day to work again. Oh my god, I would be uh, dead. The, the the security guards at round one <laughs> actually got were worried about my health at some point. <laughs> They were like, ma'am, ma are you okay? You're, yeah, they're you're like, here. you're here again. You're here again. It's been, and then I was like, don't worry. It's you been won't 20 see days. me at all. In, I played DDR four times in March. <laughs> because the 28 days of DDR in a row was very, 29, by the way. Right, 29. Plus right, leap year. We got, a, we got a bonus day with Bona leap year. But an my, extra bonus day on top of that because um, right after, so I did my last, my, my February 29th day, um, on my way to the airport to go to a family wedding in Texas, and when I landed, I was looking for a Starbucks to work remotely in. And I found a Starbucks, and I see it's in a mall. And I'm like, wait, what's that next to the Starbucks? Round one, San Antonio. <laughs> so I played on March 1st as well. Amazing. It's like, well, I'm After here. After a red eye. I'm, I'm here already. I, I might as well. I can't pass up this opportunity. I've, yeah. I found a round one in the wild. <laughs> yeah, those cabs are nice. Yeah, so. 
That's great. I, I don't know how you do that. I, my legs would be I burn jelly. the candle at both ends. I yeah. go to bed at like 1 to 2 in the morning, and then I wake up without an alarm at about 7 to 8. Damn. I, I, I don't know how I do it. I don't enjoy doing it, and I wonder <laughs> how that affects my lifespan, to be quite honest. <laughs> <laughs> but one day I'll create normal, healthy habits. <laughs> Anyway, if you're just tuning in, there are some really great matches happening um, on, the, on Red the Red Note, Note gaming Red Note stream. stream. Yep. We are currently waiting on a pad arbitration. We had a, um, a very close 1x match between uh, Kari and Heather, and um, it looks like one of the sensors was sticking. So it probably affected the score, the difference was 1x. And it was really, really important that we replay the match based off of our pad arbitration. Hello, Dalton. <laughs> to our pad arbitration rules. So currently, um, a round one mech is here. Hello. Any updates on pad arbitration other than I we're, mean, we're talking working about. on the mods right now? That's about. That's, we're, yep. we're just waiting. That's pretty much it. Yep, cool. we're just waiting. Yeah, we're just vibing. We're, we're vibing. Good. Yes, we can take a break if we need to. Uh, if it's gonna take a bit, yeah, How we can. We can. We can send to a break. Right now. Okay. Go to BRB, that's all I'm yeah, we can do that. Up to you. I'm gonna get another juice. Yeah. yeah. Let's Let's take a quick breather. We'll be back right, for the we'll, rest. We will be back once the because match is ready to go. We still got a whole playoffs to go in this pool, folks. See you guys in a bit. See you in a sec. Hey all, welcome back. Hi everyone, we're back. All right, so uh, they just, uh, the both players had a, a test song to, yeah, to test out played, the pads. They played Mixed Nuts for re-warm up after the uh, mech issue, and which we're, uh, we were having a malfunctioning arrow. And now we're back in to uh, get another replay. run of Unbelievable. Should be exciting. If you're just tuning in, uh, these two players were within one X of each other. They had near identical scores, uh, but there was a pad issue that caused the green. A uh, good. A good, I'm it sorry, a it's good. a good. So, the, the rules of the tournament state that they have to replay the song. If they're allowed a pad arbitration decision once in the whole tournament, and yep. Kari chose to use it. Yeah, use, use the one replay shot, And we which brought makes him sense. back in to fix the arrow. Makes sense, because if Kari wins this, I believe that she will uh, earn a spot in the playoff. All right, now we get Let's to see this go. tight match again. It's exciting. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're locked in. Players are ready. They're ready to play. They had to wait a while while the pads got fixed. They are ready to rip. Damn. It's still really close. Oh, yeah. Hardy dropped a great, but that doesn't matter much. It doesn't much. matter that much in the next four tournament. Nope. Still super, super close. Yeah. Gonna be determined by these chorus, by the choruses, the turns right, and the runs. This is where the song gets spicy. Starts to get spicy. This is where we're gonna definitely see some perfect greats being dropped. It's the very, very end that made the difference in this song for, this, yeah, for these competitors. The last time they played it, like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Oh, it is. It is basically dead even. It looks like even. Heather dropped. That, it is by one. But it's Heather still by one. very, very close. Heather by very one. Close. Tied. They are tied. They, they were tied, but it's still very close. It's gonna. Oh, oh no. We got we got some goods on Tari's side again. Oh no. I hope that's not the pad, but it might be. We will see. But it is, Heather it is. does have a much more substantial lead. It's true. Well, depending on what happens at this last run. Yeah, it's all this, this ending run again. Wow, it's tied! Oh my god. And they tied! They tied! They played the song twice, and it was a 1x gif with some pad maintenance, and they freaking tie. Oh my god. The replay. 
The and replay! They that ran was, it back! That was, a, that was literally, literally a replay. It's just like, oh, oh, they did it again. All right, cool, it's time. <laughs> Look at that MA. Uh, again, it's it. literally near identical. Like, the, the, the breakdown is near identical. Being in, being in the Heather 40s on this missed. song. They were within three Marvelouses of each other. Okay, yeah, so Kari's ask, inquiring about uh, the pattern appreciation rules for past the replay, uh, because we did see, again, two pad goods, unfortunately, come out on her side again. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what the TOs uh, have to say about that. They did the goods when she got the goods. It wasn't a pretty straightforward section. It, it was a it was a weird spot, so it's hard to say. So it looks like something is happening. What's happening now? It looks like I believe. Um, I believe that means there's now a three-way tie. Oh boy! Um, so so we got a three-way tie what, from third to fifth. Between the three of them? Between who? Alex. I don't know. Three-way tie? Yeah, I can explain it. Okay, have fun. You want it? Okay. Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay. Um, so they ended up tying the song, but basically Kari won the first song, and then they tied the second song. So that basically means Kari won the set, and she got extra points bonus points for winning that set. So she actually moves on to the play-in. Uh, however, there are two players that have the same amount of points after three rounds of Swiss. Looks like it's so they have to play each other for a tiebreaker to get in the play-in, so. Nice. Thank you, Mr. T.O. Man. Uh, so yes, it will be Fab Sab and Mau Mau who will be having a, a one song playoff. To what, the, is it one or? I think it's one. No, it's just a two-way tie. Two yeah, so two-way. Yeah, so the seating determines who you play. So out of a pool of eight people, um, the top four go into a playoff, and it's one versus four. So even if they tie in um, this point in the future, they need to break the tie to get to who gets the privilege or scary privilege. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Anyways, thank you. Sorry. Can you hear me now? Hopefully you guys can hear me now. But essentially, the seating will determine who gets to play who. Um, one versus four, two versus three. And since two players, two players earn the same amount of points. Correct. So uh, Fab Sab and Mau Mau both have 15 Swiss points. So they will be oh, playing. In, yes. They will be playing in a one-song tiebreaker. What? So one person. One person will make it into the playoffs, and, one and the other person will not. Yep. Um, and the winner of that will play Hitsui, who is the, the winner top of seed. that one song playoff will be Hitsui. Yes. All right. Hi Zen, thank you for the feedback. That's that our Zen. Oh, that opinion doesn't matter. Wow. Oh. Nemo just said yep. your opinion doesn't matter, Zen, but it matters to me. Is that good? How's how's the balance now, y'all? <laughs> to be fair, it is also on that the blaring results screen music, which is for some reason really really loud. Hey Alex, is it a three-way tie or a two-way? Okay, I figured. Just checking. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. We've had some pretty interesting ties. We had a three-way tie in pool two. Yep. Um, for third place. Right. Which means two people, they, we had to play on both caps, three people play the same song, and the top two scores would be seated third and fourth for the playoffs. And that happened again in pool four, and right? it happened again in pool four <laughs> with me. <laughs> I, I was the person that didn't make it on. But then I commentated pool five, and I was very glad I didn't move on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, like, yeah, no, safe. I'm good. My skill level's fine where it is. One song tiebreakers are hype. 
I love, that's like one of my favorite things when we get to see those happen. I mean, shout out to Mau Mau being in yeah. this, the, the playoffs, because Mau Mau actually came up from the last pool. Yep. So, you know. Yeah, that, really incredible, incredible was, showing. Yeah, if she's kicking it with everyone else in this pool. Um, and, you know, we've, they're very similarly skilled players at like upper songs. Mm. They're very both very good with streams and metering their bursts. Yeah. So it's gonna be a really. I, we're not 100 percent sure what they. Uh oh oh. We got, we got the got we got something. the draw here. So we it looks something. like it's a draw five, uh, and then each player vetoes two. We see two card draws though. Oh, we see that's the last. That's one. That's the top one. Yep. Yeah. So it's draw right. five, and then. All right. They're doing the draws. This is the first they... line. All right. Oh, that oh boy, has more rampage, rampage here. Let's go. Unlock. So this is going to be the one song playoff to determine who makes it to the playoffs of the pool. Yep. All right, and we get the we get um, semi, not super semi in uh, salmon intensive for a 16, but it's a 16, so it's you know yeah, still got saw, some salmon um, associated with it. Kari play this. Yep. Kari and Sveto played this earlier. Yeah, and Sveta took it off of uh, Akari in a no, really, really, really tight match. more people in this pool play this. Oops, I kicked the camera. That was my fault. <laughs> yeah, that should be hype. The winner moves to the playoffs, uh, and loser, unfortunately, is eliminated. Moves on to the playoffs to play Hitsui. Yeah, have fun with that. Hitsui is, <laughs> Hitsui is pretty dom much dominated based on... Yep. Looks um, like uh, two set wins and a 1-1. One, one. None of, none of Hitsui's matches have been on this stream. But if you've been following along with her, she's um, done pretty damn well. Yeah. Sveta is right on her tail, too, with uh, playoff position, too. Yep, so we know we know now Sveta and Kari will be playing each other in a Sveta playoff. Sveta and Kari, Kari with her... Um, win and then tie against yep. Heather. That made the difference. It made the difference. That made the difference. And Kari is in position three. And now uh, we have Fab Sab and Mau Mau playing Rampage Hero ESP um, to see who will get position of uh, standing number four for the uh, the chance to move on to pool seven, our last and most scary pool of this tournament. For real, though. <laughs> gonna be so hype. It looks like the choice is between this and Shiny World ESP. So this is, to me, I as a, a DDR enthusiast, but not a player, I'm glad I get to watch pe talented people play this <laughs> <laughs> instead of playing it myself. All right, winner moves on. Winner moves on to the playoffs for Let's this get pool. it. Let's get it. Ready, set, step. You got the beat, you got the song, you can do no wrong. Unsurprisingly, real solid MA coming out from both players. Both players are doing great. Still super close. A lot of this this chart is about just staying consistent through most of it, and then uh, being ready to nail that ending run. Yep, the, you gotta stick the landing on Rampage Hero. It's very important, and, and with the difference in skill in these two players, it could honestly mean be the differential on who moves on. Absolutely. Looks like Mau Mau's holding on to about a 15 to a 12 or so point lead. Oh, wow. Oh, it's um, Fab. Fab Sab has closed the gap a little bit. Oh, it's tight. Oh, it's tight. Yeah, it's, it's almost certainly going to come down to that ending run now. Not much left of the chart up besides that. Oh, drop coming out on Mau Mau's side. Still, Still holding so on to a small lead. Even though 
even though FabSav is holding on. Whoops, we got some combo breaks on both sides. Wow, and oh, Mau Mau, and Mau, Mau holds on. Out. Wow. Managed to hang on. Manages to hang on. Both players were given their all on that ending run. It's so tricky to nail. They wow. Both, they both got through it. And it's uh it's Mau Mau's and MA Mau Mau. that ended up clinching it. More misses, but better MA. Mau Mau coming up from pool five. And that was in the playoffs of pool six. Is now in the playoffs in pool six. Incredible showing. Wow. Really, really great run for her. And shout outs to her for being our, our amazing artist who created our mascot on the back of my jacket. It's too cold for me to take it off and pimp it out and like show it up again, <laughs> but I, um, I love it. Our merch, our creative team is amazing. Shout outs to our creative team. Oh. All right, looks like we got some, I think we're figuring out who's who's going to be playing who. There might, might be some seating adjustments that are happening. Okay, we have some manual seating adjustments happening because sir, aforementioned star GG silliness. Right. So this is. Oh, I guess it did flip. Yeah. Oh, so it looks like so, yeah, so thanks to some uh, start GG weirdness, it's actually Hitsui and Kari and Sveta and Mao Mao. That might be Hmm. It may it may be because I know uh, sometimes the tiebreaker uh, is uh, head to head or opponents opponents right. records. Right, right, right. So like the strength of the strength of your opponents. Got it. That may be a factor. That might have been a factor. Yes. Oh. Hi, Raid from TBD4. Hello, the big deal. Welcome, welcome in. Welcome. Thank you for the Raid, TBD. Nice to have you all here. You are coming in at a, a pretty hype time. We are... were updated. Sorry about that. Yeah. What's going on? I yes, did. we did. We did. We are we are just about to start the playoff uh, for pool for six. For pool six, this uh, is pool six. We have seven pools, and um, so the way it works is all of our pools are eight P players. The bottom two come from the previous pool, and uh, they get promoted up, and then they play three rounds of Swiss, which we just finished for pool six, and then the top four are in a playoff. It's going to be a best of five, so you can catch. Please open up two streams. We have two streams. We have Hitwe versus Mau Mau on one stream and Sveta versus Kari. Our other stream is Red Note Gaming. It will be a best of five and they're currently doing their card draws. Yeah, so uh, how the, the playoff uh, draw works, uh, each player gets to pick a song. So it's sort of a pocket pick of sorts, but it's like two guaranteed picks. Yeah, so, so they play no. one player's pick first, the other player's pick first, and then the rest are a card draw. A card draw. Um, that so I believe it's draw seven and then veto. Draw seven and veto a bunch. <laughs> Until you get down <laughs> you to get three down to three more, yeah. and then it's best of five. So it's cool that uh, each player gets to, to play a pick, pick, uh, but then... They get to play uh, their own and show off what they're good at, and then... Um, then the rest is down to card draw. Card draw and, and execution I, and, and chart knowledge and all that good stuff. We're not really sure which match we're going to get. We're going to get one of them. Yep. But all of these players in the top four are strong. They are, yeah, they've um, been going. We have Hitsui from the Sacramento area who's uh, seated first. Uh, she's just been beasting. 
And then we have Sveta from the Seattle area, who's number two in the pool. Mau uh, Mau, oh, Kari, Kari, Kari is, is number the... three from SoCal. And Mau Mau, who is also from SoCal, and uh, actually won pool six, was promoted yep. up from pool six. So it's been on a tear. And basically clawed her way up all the way to the playoffs, um, oh, from pool five into pool six. And so uh, the winner of these two playoffs uh, have the incredible joy and privilege of playing Ambones and Vivi. And Vivi. <laughs> You are the top two seeds <laughs> in Pool 7. That is, that is your reward, is you get to get Ambones like or Vivi. Um, <laughs> even though I win, I lose the Exactly. <laughs> Just kidding. They're, we all know that everyone's going to put up their biggest fights against Absolutely. the top competitors. And gonna playing against people that are, that are uh, above your level or you feel like are better than you, like that that's pushes you to get better. Yeah, I, love yeah. playing, I love playing against players that are better than me. Uh, it pushes me to get better. They totally. And yeah, anytime you win, it's like, real. oh crap, I won. You're better than me, but I won. Yay! Yeah. Every actually, time. <laughs> one, the, one, the, I won three songs in pool four. Two of them were against a competitor who beat me in every single warm-up song. Wow. That we had played. We played a warm-up set together and a warm-up song before we realized we'd meet each other in Swiss pools. <laughs> and I too owed her. Damn. Because of the tournament buff, I guess. It was very, very close. She's very, very good, and I was very scared of her. <laughs> so, but you know, once the adrenaline just starts flowing through your body, you do some real weird things playing <laughs> this game. Yeah, you just get to, yeah, you, you, it's where, it's definitely where nerves can come out, but also where uh, a player can exceed what they thought they could do player exceed what they thought was possible. That's why we love DDR tournaments. Yeah. It's like such a great, a great showing of like what people can do under pressure in their favorite hobby. Mm -hmm. And competition's not for everyone, but there are some of us that just really enjoy it. Yeah, I love it. I too love it. All right. Looks like we got card draw going on. It looks like we will be getting the Sveta and Kari match. They're yep. currently doing their card draw at our station. So once once uh, that's completed, we'll and have hang, that for you on screen. Hang tight, we we'll got that. Make sure you also are tuning in to the Red Note gaming stream. I know you guys rated over here. Both cabs are being streamed. We have an awesome set of commentators over there as well. Thanks for joining. We love y'all in Texas, we do. We really do. I know. I'm so. We've got we've got, we got uh, Lumen uh, pacing Lumen in the background. In the background. <laughs> she's kind of no. She's in pool seven. <laughs> Love from Gospel is in chat. Hi, Gospel. Hey, Gospel. Nice. Yay, East Coast. Woo. We got played some East together Co when we were babies. Aw. Horrible. From the old school Massachusetts community. Nice. Nice. Hi. Yep, yep, we see. Yep. We see it. We've already announced it. We are rocking it out here in this dry ass Las Vegas oh weather. Oh my god, it's so dry. My nose has no moisture inside it. And it's radio as well. Shout out to Radi Radipon Radio. Radio was the creator of the Predecessor to Sun by Ice Cream. Really? DD Recall. Thank you Back for your when service. We, when we like <laughs> spreadsheet our extreme and supernova data. Uh, I yeah. do enough spreadsheets at work. I don't want to do one for my hobby. Thanks. Yeah, I still actually have the Internet Wayback Machine saved mine. So I have Damn. a personal spreadsheet challenge where I'm trying to beat all of my extreme song scores from 2004 to 2007 that are listed in my Internet Wayback Machine archive That's so of it. cool. And I'm, I'm about halfway done. So I want to have a nice lowers day on songs that I used to play 20 years ago. Right. I go straight to my old DD Recall <laughs> spreadsheet. It's pretty great. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm just, I mean, or if, you, or if you want to play like PSMO or something. 
Uh, yes, that's pretty, I didn't actually pass pretty, PSMO in the day, and it's still blank because I don't feel like playing. I'll get there. I'll get fair. there. You will get there. I'm leaving I believe it off in you. as the boss song. So here is our draw. They oh. are doing it right now. They're literally doing it. We that have is, it. Pre we have it. So, so it looks have, like you know, we're watching this real time. Some of my favorite Sveta 15s in here. Vito Nageki. Kari vetoed Snow Some Prism CSP. Both very tricky, very very in intense 16 charts. I wonder when they're inserting their pocket picks, maybe. I think after the vetoes. Wait, hopefully, oh, wait. is this live? Okay, we are, we are literally watching the draw be done. Which is How pretty exciting. sick, that's a nice, nice little tech. Shout out to, I don't know who on the tech team set that up, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so so we have a little bit of a hack where um, Kathadan, who created DDR Tools, the card draw app we all know and love, is on our staff. So when our rule set and seating folks, Haruki and Alex, decided to make this, they're like, hey, can we make a sand by decimal level subset of weighted draws? Well, that feature was just built. We were just like, yeah, let's do it. Yep. It, so if you were like, why are... If anyone was wondering, why are all what are why all these this, what are all the decimals? What's why going did on? Why this feature you just can, show up you, randomly? You can thank Haruki and Kathadon for that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> which has been great because we haven't really seen any super boring MA matches, True. and we haven't seen anything where like really nasty gimmick charts decided what the match spread would be. Unless it was a pocket pick. Unless it was a pocket pick, right? And then, True. but but then it's like. Still, it's like no holds barred for the playoffs where yeah. that's, you know, so like we have this Minus like, in. the Swiss pools have been like a really good execution. And then we get to, we get to like the playoffs and all the players are expected to know the whole range of um, levels. Absolutely. Now Lumen's getting hype behind us. Nice. <laughs> all right, so what's the rest of the draw? We're up. Oh, Sveta has pocket picked. Magnetic, Magnetic ESP. ESP. Oh, a woman after my own heart. I love that chart. One of my favorite 15s. Shout out to Soda Fujimori. Providing all the bangers in DDR. I think we'll we'll be getting uh, Kari's pick coming out here pretty soon. Oh, that's what it was. What, that's what it is with the playoffs. Is each player vetoes one first? Then their picks replace. Their picks two. replace another. So it's another. like it's a pocket pick veto scenario. Yeah. So, so there's it's a little like, bit of strategy in there. Not only what you pick, but also what but you're you replace. Also, yes, you're replacing. So you're like canning something else you don't want to play. Exactly. It's a win. It's a it's a double win. Waiting for the next move. What's going to happen? Yep, Ooh. yep. We got the suspense happening. This is interesting. A lot of, all the 15s and 16s here are all, like, at the lower end of the 15s and 16s. I, like, ones that are more easily easy to MA, right. tend to go for early PFCs and things like that. So we're, we're really looking at a really, like, depending on what Kari's pocket pick is, we're really going for like a very, very sharp, tight, technical yeah. MA battle. Absolutely. Oh, uh, so never boy! Mind. Never mind. Here we go. <laughs> Kari has pocket picked. The world ends now. And if you know anything about Kari's most recent tournament history, oh. we've had to have the world ends now as the Valkyrie Arena online tournament, a team tournament qualifier. Oh, is that her fault? But no, no, oh, okay, but, okay, okay. but <laughs> for Snow Prism, Solstice Arena, the last online gauntlet tournament for the DDR community, she also had to play it. Okay. Okay, so she's, she's very familiar so with the So she's very familiar. Gotcha. And, and I believe Sveta is in Arena. Is Sveta in Arena? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't remember. I'm not sure. Oh, in Arena? Yes, she's in Arena. So she's in Arena, so, so she's, she's also familiar. had to play it because yep. it was our qualifier for Valkyrie Arena. Yep. So obviously, uh, so these uh, it, both of these competitors have played it fairly recently, at yeah. least a couple of times. It's true. Yeah. Say. So obviously, world ends now. Uh, a huge stamina foot speed battle, 200 BPM, 16, very so, relentless. So it looks like we also have oh my honey, sweetie, lovely sweetie darling, vetoed, vetoed, and, and start a new day, vetoed. Interesting. So this is our five song set, folks. What this is is it's the best of five. 
Um, so air heroes will definitely be played. Right. So the the each player's picks happen first. So we will play Sveta was played in the order shown. So every yep. each player gets makes ensures that their pocket pick will be played. So we're very, we go, we'll have a very techy start with Magnetic. Very technical chart, lots of syncopation, lots of great tricky rhythms, a tricky slowdown. Then we go full stamina mode where the world ends now. Uh, and then we kind of uh, coast back into MA land for a little while. All righty. Looks like the players are hopping on the Looks pads. Looks like our players are gearing up to play. So we're going to have some good ass DDR. I'll do it. Very, very soon. So if you're looking for the big names in the tournament, they will be coming up in pool seven. So stay tuned. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice sales pitch. <laughs> stay with us. <laughs> the mystery. Uh, yeah. That's gonna be a good match. It's gonna be a really good match. This is very exciting. Our competitors are keying in. Um, something to mention: if we do get to Sword of Vengeance, uh, Sveta has played that twice now uh, in the past two days. She played it uh, in the Achievement Hunt side events and yes. actually got a personal best. I believe two, one, one great and like fit sixty or so perfects, like crazy, crazy good. And also, I believe played it on the other cab as well. Yeah, uh, so we a, had a some match. really bomb side events, and one of them was an achievement hunt. Yes. Where people were trying to best their own personal best. That was our Friday night. It was a team event. Yeah, I had a, I had a lot of fun uh, with that. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm a little biased. I was on the winning team. Of course. Shout out to, to Sveta, Starby Fly, and Vivi. Uh, we were the dream team, but uh, it's a really cool event and really cool format. We also had a Mods Medley tournament yes. last night. Which, which we, if, you, if you tuned into the stream, was absolute chaos and malarkey. malarkey. Oh people my God. People were holding hands. People were toggling sudden plus. It was completely, wild, Completely fun. unhinged four mic commentary. <laughs> I, right, got to, I was running sound, so I got to hear the all that. The box should be up, and uh, <laughs> you guys can watch that. It's nice that we didn't have any just like super straightforward tournament. We had some like wacky DDR going on too. It's good. It's good to have a mix. But now it's time to get into uh, some serious business. Here, Here we, we go. go. Starting, starting yeah, the playoff. So full six playoffs. these are full six playoffs. These are the two and three seeds. Sveta at C2 and Kari at C3. This is the winner pick. of this best of five goes on to pool seven, which is our final pool. So again, this, uh, this 15, very technical chart, lots of syncopated rhythms, um, little tricky patterns. So it's really about locking, locking in, staying steady, um, they are reading both accurately. They're really doing great. They're very close. Yeah. And try and not rushing. These uh, rhythms are somewhat easy to rush sometimes, I find. But these players have it on lock right now. Wow. Oh yeah. This is very tight. It's within five or ten. It will all come down. The execution for sure. Yeah. Here we go. And they're going into the slowdown here. Neither Pretty competitor was tripped up by that slowdown at all. Much harder to, to MA, obviously, but both players are doing a good job. Oh, oh. Got, a, got a drop on Kari's side. got a drop. So that gives Spetta a bit of a lead. This is Spetta's pocket pick. Yeah. So you expect her to be executing at a high level, which is absolutely the case. Sveta is definitely starting to pull away over here. Yeah. And we're going to the end of the song. Yep, looks like Sveta is uh, cleaning up. Really solid performance That's on really, her pick. Really, really solid lead on this. Oh, yeah. They're giving it up for you. And Sveta wow. takes it. 
Great full combo. 993. Great very clean. Great full combo. That MA was just. That's solid for Magnetic. Magnetic yeah, very, obviously very, very hard to MA. This is why it was probably why it was your pocket pick. Oh, yeah. Good job, Seta. Great showing from Kari as well. That's a pretty technical 15. And, very much. And Kari's been playing. She had that extra playoff that she is. <laughs> right. To. Yeah, you have to, like, for that one that one song play, if you're giving your absolute all, so to then come and then be playing in a playoff immediately, that's that takes a lot out of you. So right. shout out to her for doing a great job. And now we get, now it's, uh, it's stamina hours. Stamina hours. Let's see our competitors rock this 16. Ooh. Uh, that's quite a PB that she's got very, over there. Very <laughs> spicy. <laughs> very spicy. I've kind of warmed up to this chart lately. It used to be like it would just destroy me completely. So I like it can't be fun if it like makes you physically sick. Wow. Like and now that I got a little, a little bit better with uh, with 16s, I've kind of warmed up to kind of warmed up to it a little bit. It's this is I I'm not gonna lie. I didn't clear this for the qualifier. No, no. I didn't have that much time. So, right. so if uh, for all of you guys who uh, are out there, this is a very fresh song for both of these competitors. They're both competing in the Valkyrie Arena online team tournament where we have evenly matched teams. And this was actually one of the qualifiers that we had to play. So, um, so I don't know who made that decision. But <laughs> both of these players. Uh, Akari additionally had to play this for Solstice Arena, another online tournament. Yeah. Um, so the, she is very proficient. This was her pot. This is her pocket pick with a 996 on this song. Uh, but as I said, Sveta actually played this recently too. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the tournament, tournament buff is real. Absolutely. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm excited to see these players execute at so a high level on this, this. on this crazy chart. This is a very violent choice. Kari is like one of the sweetest people I know. <laughs> this is a very violent choice. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do to win. Yeah, she's and a very fierce pick your, competitor. Pick your best, pick your best and, and go for it. And that's what we want. We want fierce competition here. Take no prisoners. All right, let's go. Kari first to break the PFC, but X score is near identical at this point. First little run here. Kari coming out ahead a little bit. Super close. Yep. Here we go. Very dastardly green run. Oh green wow, run. so clean. So clean from Kari, yes. What a clean execution there. Those are so hard to double step. They are. She got, she's nailed them. Here we go, more green runs, back to yellow runs. Wow. Kari is, Kari is showing why this is her pocket thing. She's killing it with the double steps. Killing yeah. it, absolutely. <laughs> Like her form with double stepping is really, really nice yeah, to watch. Yeah, nice and minimal. She's just so metered with them. Yeah. But still a really strong showing from Sveta. On a, again, an incredibly with taxing triple, 16. Sveta's nailing those, MA-wise. And that's what she needs to do to yeah. hopefully try to catch up here. Kari's just on autopilot at this moment. Yep. Not, not giving an inch right now. And Kari with wow. the full combo. Wow. Dominating her pocket pick. That was nuts. That was nuts. A, wow. a triple A yeah. full combo in a tournament setting. That's on, a, on such a 16. That, that, is, is, that is dominating and so solid. Ludicrously good. Now, and we really got to see both players at their absolute best with those two picks. Absolute best with their picks. And, and now that the pocket picks have been played, 
We have the randomness of the increasingly yep. difficult card draw. Yep. So it would be interesting how this happens because, you know, it's where we are in a best of five scenario where we have they have to play air heroes. And the way that the card draw is set up, it's by level. So from left to right, the songs get increasingly more difficult. Oh, is that how that is that well, a thing? We have weighted distributions and like all of the earlier songs. So you replace the pocket picks. So like the first seven on the screen, they're oh, all that? in order. So technically you're huh. actually playing that what I noticed this during my five song playoff. I'm like, oh, I gotta close this out quick. I yeah. don't wanna play the end. <laughs> I'm getting tired. So like at their tiredest, they will, if this goes to five, they will be playing Sword of Vengeance. Damn. All right. Damn, so, but first, But first. But first. Air Heroes. We gotta, I mean, this is, they're so, yeah. This so is this so tight. Pretty, pretty straightforward uh, 15. This this definitely will be uh, predominantly an MA battle. They have near identical money scores on this. Yeah, they, it looks like they both have flags, which, I mean, would be pretty hype if we saw one of them pull out the, the PFC here. Very. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Do, are you jinxing it in, in like? In, I don't know. Am I am I counter him? reverse super jinxing Can't it? I don't know. We'll see. Super commentator cursing, <laughs> which means they'll get a double PFC, right? There you go. And you just double reverse backseat jinxed it. Right, well, Uno Boom. reverse card. <laughs> Uno reverse card. God. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Air Heroes, a uh, couple of couple of runs, a um, couple of tricky little five bursts, uh, similar to the ones in Ishtar that are kind of uh, in open space. So it's really just uh, locking in, being sure not to rush. Very easy to rush at this tempo, I find. Um, but overall should be uh, pretty much an, M an, a an M uh, MA battle for the most part. Both competitors taking their time to recover a little bit, which yep. I mean, after the world, world ends now. Very understandable. It is 100,000% understandable. <laughs> they don't want to rush into the rest of their five song set. Select level. All right, here they go. Final stage. Song number three in a best of five. First little little run here. See yeah, how they fare. Clean. Kari has a drop. Up. But not really affecting the EX too much. Now true. Sveta's holding on to a narrow lead at this point. Alright, there's little these little fives. Or sevens. Yo, the these are so tricky. Nailing these birds. Oh my god. Clean. Wow. Incredible execution. But Kari's, Kari's keeping strong. <clears throat> keeping it close. Keeping it close, but instead of keeps this up, it's going to be very, very hard for Kari to catch up on this. It's true. Because instead is just completely locked in with his cards. Only real challenging bit is the run at the end left. Come on, Seta. Seta, let's see it. Seta. Yes, Seta! Oh, wow. PFC! PFC! Yes. PFC! This is what we want to see here, folks. 40 perfects. Oh, my god. 40p PFC. That New is PB so for clean. Seta. New PB for Seta. We love to see it. We love Incredible. to see it. Incredible. The tournament buff is real. Wow. Hey, we did it. We called it. We called it. <laughs> we, we did it. We jinxed. We reversed. Jinxed this to have somebody PFC it. What? Well, it couldn't be a double PFC. That's OK. That's fine. Kari okay. still triple eight it. She's yeah. definitely there. Yeah, that was absolutely. Air, yep, PFC. What an, so what an incredible. So apparently the, the deal is that we should be jinxing them by Let's saying see, they see should PFC their the flags before floor. they start. So you say before, not during. Not during. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I don't deal. know. 
All righty, now Seta is up 2-1. Up 2-1. So Which means we definitely get to see AI. Yep, so uh, Kari needs to take this or Sveta takes the playoff and moves on. It comes down to AI, uh, which is um, definitely an entry level 16. Um, it's got some tricky rhythms in it, but uh, from, a, from a stamina and a density standpoint, uh, relatively light. Uh, pretty short as well, which obviously helps with the, with the stamina. Definitely helps. Yeah. We um, loved our short songs. So it's uh, it's gonna definitely gonna predominantly come down to MA execution as well as uh, rhythm, rhythmic execution. Yep. We'll see who which player has that today on this song and who has it better. We gotta sign back in because we are three song sets. Excited pool seven's about to start warming up, guys. So That's hype. It's exciting stuff. What's your side? I'm sure they might have seen it, but the card draw people may not. It's just so. Alrighty. So the matches on the Red Note stream have concluded. We're just waiting. Um, I believe Pits we won. And okay. Uh, we actually, we have a Star GG bracket, but I don't think it was linked up last night. Um, but if you go to the Star GG page on Zenith. Yeah, it's, uh, it's on the Zenith Star GG page. Uh, and I'll have a breakdown of each of the pools and each of the playoffs. Let me see if I can manually. Got it? Oh, I can, I can. Let me see if I can send it over. I am on the wrong setting. Oh, thank you very much. I'm trying. Uh, someone, in, uh, someone in the chat, Joshua, grabbed it, oh, put great. it in the chat, thank so you, thank you. you. Thank you. All, All right, right, AI. If Sveta takes this, she will be moving on to pool seven to face our last pool, highest level competitors. If Kari takes this, she'll have they'll have to go to the fifth song. Looks like Sveta is playing this on mirror. Interesting. You can do no and there's a couple of crossovers and maybe uh, prefer turning in one direction or another. Yep. The fact yeah. she knows that is a definite and, and knows Good that her. her advantage will be playing to mirror. Yep. Playing on mirror will, is going to give her a bit of an edge in terms of um, Knowing like Turn what on. she's good at and what she can, how she can execute it. Absolutely. This is going to be a very, very tight, tight, tight match. Yeah, not many two. notes in this song, so it's going to be very tight. Yeah, players are not disappointing with this MA battle. Yeah, they're both just streaming Marvelouses right now. Like their lives depend on it. Pretty great. It is dead even. At the freeze, Kari Kari's by up by two. Neither player has made any egregious mistakes at this point. The perfect drop here or there. That's about it. Kari is locked in. Yeah, Kari hasn't dropped the great this whole second section of the song so far. Wow. And Kari Clear. takes it. Cleans up, takes song four. Takes song four. 41. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious indeed. That's in some incredible MA and a PB. We love to see it. We Great love we tournament love to PBs. It. Both so strong. Yeah. It is. It was really, it just came down to uh, Kari MA. That was the whole difference. That was the whole difference. Really great, really awesome. Now, the determining song for this match. All comes down to this, song all five. All comes down to song five. Sword of Sword Vengeance. Sword of Vengeance ESP. 
another pretty relentless 16. Not as many um, bursts or jumps as uh, in World Ends Now, but still fast tempo uh, 16. Choi, very fast. Some uh, some fives, five the bursts song in is there. Awesome. I think it's, it's great. And this, uh, in contrast to AI, this is a lengthy song. This very, is an endurance very long sense. Song. This is. I played the DSP in my playoff for the pool. Yeah. I chose it too. <laughs> and I had already played all my matches, and I, and I was like, "Wow, it's why did I do that?" It's it was a lot. the sheer adrenaline that made me push through. And, I, and it was just the DSP. It wasn't right. even the ESP. Yeah. And these players have been playing for quite a while. This is the fifth yeah. song in a five song playoff. This ESP does not mess around After at all. Three rounds of Swiss pools. So. Yeah. so this is not just can you MA at 208, can you MA at 208 for 700 notes? I believe it's about six, six or 700 notes, notes something in there. All right, here we go. All right. Last Look. song, winner moves on. Winner pool moves seven. on to pool seven. All right, let's go. So clean. Clean for those triples. Very clean for those triples. Yep. We got the, we're gonna, you're gonna see a lot of those little five bursts. Handling Both them really well. Are, yeah, like they're nothing. The five note bursts. Like they're nothing. Oops, carry Oops. dropped a little, but. Still holding strong. The MA is still there. It's still really close. Sveta playing like. She wants to win this match so badly. And if she wins this, she plays Amber. Yeah? Yeah, because she's the, she, it was it's a 2-3 match. Extra, a little extra motivation. But it's starting to pull away, but it's still, it's still close. There's still a ton of song. Oh yeah, absolutely. Both competitors keeping their cool. Sveta by 20. Sveta, do you, do you have it in you again? Sveta, what do you say? I, I am in shock. I am in shock. I can't say anything. I'm not allowing myself to say anything right now. Come on, let's see it. Yes. Yes! Holy, PFC! Holy crap! Sveta takes it. She takes the whole match. She PFCs a 16 to win her five song. Best of match against Kari to wow. put up an insane fight. Zeta is getting cheers from the crowd. That was nuts! That was so clean. That was incre incredible. And like, and Kari, Kari, and really and solid performance. Kari 994. Had a 994. One miss, six greats. Incredible score. Incredible you, score. There's just nothing you can do. Someone's gonna when drop. Someone is that locked in. You're gonna drop a 56 perfect hungry? PFC on you. There's, it's just at that point you tip your hat. Insane. <laughs> Incredible. I have, no wor I have no words for this, really. Out of the wild. Like just I get, expected this a, to be a good match. I did not. Sveta's getting a photo op with her with her PFC score right now. I did not expect <laughs> this match to be that good. Yeah, seriously. Like good. Like this is like exceeded all of my expectations. Every expectation has been exceeded. This is why we run these things. Incredible. Sveta's getting greeted with a lot of profanities. <laughs> Happy profanities. Happy profanities. We like happy profanities. And the thing is, too, is we need to call out how great Kari did. Seriously. Kari clawed her way out of Swiss pools 
and uh, had to do a replay due to pad arbitration. And a one, a one song. No, oh, no, no, never mind. And, Wrong um, person. And and one on a replay for pad arbitration. Then has the audacity <laughs> to pick the world ends now and, in this pool and, and takes Veta to song and, five. And takes Veta all the way to song five. That is incredible. These players are competitors, true competitors. Incredible. Um, so that is the end of pool six. Are we gonna sign off, Karina? We gonna sign off, we need to sign off. Okay. All right. All right. Coming up will be pool seven. Pool seven. Get hype. Last we have pool. Some of the competitors warming up right now. And we will be back with our pool seven commentators. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Stay tight, sit tight, and make sure you have both uh, SoCal DDR and Red Note Gaming streams open to see every match in Pool 7. Stay tuned, y'all. Thanks, everyone. We love you. Bye, Bye. y'all.